Hey everybody, it's Carpo from the shop and uh, I just wanted to make this video to have a little quick discussion about uh, engineered versus solid wood for construction. I've had a debate with people countless times, especially customers, about using solid wood. They'll want me to build cabinets and uh, I'll say, hey, you know, we should use plywood. And they'll say, oh, but I want it to be solid. And uh, they don't seem to understand the concept. So this is kind of for the, the novice here who doesn't understand why you want to use engineered wood. Now, first off, solid wood's great for this kind of stuff. And I, I should have pulled these out, but uh, these are some huge face frames I built. And um, these are going to be three side-by-side -side, uh, cabinets, about 12 feet total by about 10 feet high. And for all the face frame material, I like to use like poplar, you know, high quality, you know, high quality stuff that you can don't have to worry about, you know, denting the edge or anything or having any inconsistencies. It's easy to sand and refinish. Right. So, that's the face frame. And this goes for all furniture. When it comes to shelving, edges, birch plywood is your best choice. It's nice and smooth, has a paintable surface, and it's consistent. And these are all my pieces of birch I ripped into strips in order for using for the edges of my, you know, cabinets. But, uh, you know, I had this customer that wanted me to ask it bi biscuit join, a bunch of solid pieces together. And I was trying to explain to him, it's not better. And then he said, well, how about we do the shelves with solid wood? And I said, no, it's not better. You can't do the shelves out of solid wood because it'll just bow over time. And, you know, the best you can do is laminate them together. So. That's the thing, the engineered products have had this bad name as being garbage. I would prefer to use plywood for everything, uh, if I can. And considering the availability of materials, or lack thereof, you know, uh, you know, the variability is great. Actually, this piece right here, this sheet, I was kind of short on uh, this piece, so I actually, you can see the seam right there. I hooked two of them together uh, to make one. I mean, you can do so much with plywood. So the reason why I did this is because... <laughs> I wanted to show you these picture frames I made just a few minutes ago. It took me like you know, 15 minutes. Made two 8.5 by 11 frames. I screwed up when I was putting the pocket screws in and I did it on the wrong side and <laughs> ended up with that. But generally my seams look like this. You know, pretty flawless and I try to get them as nice as possible. And uh, these are not even finished or sanded or filled or anything. And they're gorgeous. And I built them with pocket screws. I was showing the other day how I use pocket screws to build everything. Well, this is no exception. Any homeowner can build a picture frame using pocket screws. And this thing is so solid. You know, obviously the, the average person may not be able to operate a table saw to put a little rabbited edge for the picture frame, but um, these are made out of plywood. These are picture frames made out of a crappy strip of plywood and uh, it was just a cut off that was in my junk pile and I thought well I could utilize it, make a few frames, slap them up on the wall. Easy. Boom. And so the actual cost is maybe 25 cents. Well, maybe more like 50 cents each, but good stuff. So I just wanted to make that known. For those of you who aren't aware that engineered products are very high quality, um, you know, and you can get one one sheet of birch plywood and make countless things out of it. All kinds of different projects and furniture and stuff. And uh, if you need a spot where you need more than one, if you're making a bench seat, you can double it up, triple it up, make it thicker. You know, and uh, you know, don't be afraid to use it if you're doing cabinets, especially. People are scared off by doing big projects because they're afraid that if they don't have the right, uh, you know. Qu all the right sanders and everything, they can't get the wood down. Dude, plywood comes pre-finished at the right thickness, everything's there. Boom. Done. So, that's all I wanted to say. Namaste, everybody. Go ahead and make yourself some picture frames. And if you haven't used that Krieg jig, I'm telling you, man. Just a little dab of glue, two screws in each corner. Boom, 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 boom. Done. The reason why I did said wanted to show you guys this is because I know for anybody who's tried to make picture frames before, it's a pain in the ass, dude. They've got those stupid little clips that you can put in there and uh, try to hook them together, and they always end up twisting and coming out. So these are picture frames that will never fall apart. So good luck, everybody. Peace and love.